Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my Pan That Palette update for this year. I am panning the Too Faced Le Grand Chateau palette and I have my updates down below for you guys who are interested, but this is one of the oldest palettes in my collection. I wanted to choose something smaller that I can just focus on, be easy for me to do quick looks here and there whenever I do decide to put on makeup. This year has definitely been up and down with me wanting to go full-blown eyeshadow like makeup every day. So this palette has been really great for me to just get something, get a good base down. Sometimes I add other shades on top of it. I'll get more into that in a little bit, but let's see where I'm currently at now. So this is where I'm at. And as you can see, I have definitely been working on La Marais. There was eyeshadow right here. I've been clearing this part out. Parfait, I've definitely been working on clearing out as well. Expanded the pan in, what's that shade called? Rendezvous. And then I've almost hit pan in Province. Other than that, these two black shades, I haven't really used Trace Cheek because that shade is just, I'm not a big fan of the purple glitter in there. It has so much fallout. I just really don't like it. And then no noir or noir whatever you want to say i do have on my outer corner so again what my pretty much everyday look is when i do grab this palette is lay marais all over the lid all the way up to the eyebrow and that's kind of like my base shade it has a little bit of a purple pink iridescent shimmer to it not anything that's too crazy that will like catch the eye from a stranger thinking like what is she wearing on her eyes just a nice little glimmer glisten to the eyes rendezvous then i put on my crease then parfait all over the lid and then province i'll do the outer half of my lid what i've been doing lately with parfait is I've been topping this NYX eyeshadow in Mermaid over Parfait and I've been loving the way that looks. I didn't do that today, but this is such a pretty summer shade with the blue green iridescent and over top of Parfait. It's just been really great because you can sheer this out and so it just makes a really pretty iridescent pink mermaid look. Sun might be waking up soon there's a dog barking but i really have been enjoying using this shade with parfait i'm still using the blush which is trace fab i have it as my blush today use it every day other days when i decide i want to switch it up have something a little different from my blush i go in with the black book of bronzers from too faced and i use the pink leopard shade is right here for my blush and this shade is just a little bit more bronzy and less like pink pink red I don't know just more natural looking to do the pink leopard when I just want something a little bit more natural looking but yeah that is my progress so far on the Too Faced Le Grand Chateau the black one definitely really happy with my progress on this I'm really surprised I haven't finished Parfait in Le Marais, but again, I'm not wearing eyeshadow every single day. My basic makeup look lately because I have a one-year-old son. I'll go work out, go to swim class, things like that, go to the parks. I just do concealer, mascara, and a lip product, and that kind of is my everyday look. When I do want to dress it up a little bit, I will add in eyeshadows in the full shebang, but that is pretty much that. So hopefully I can finish Parfait Le Marais. I'll definitely have some rendezvous left. Again, if you haven't been watching these updates, I don't plan on using and finishing the two black shades, but I will every now and then while I have this palette. Once I finish these three shades, I'll probably pop out Province and the blush and store in a Z palette. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.